so here we are in a crawl space. We're looking at a at an existing French drain application. This house has had a lot of standing water underneath it. You can see where the trench has been dug out. We're, we've kind of stopped at this point to show. You see how wet the, the dirt is. We've pulled back the old vapor barrier that's under here right now. You can see some of the standing water that's just been, been uh, building up under this house. Most of the standing water, like we've talked about, ends up collecting around the edges of the foundation wall. Here we started digging the trench that we'll, uh, we'll fill with a four inch corrugated pipe and gravel is our filter rock that we've seen. And uh, so this is, this is what it looks like kind of in, in progress. Again, you wanna get the ditch um, as close to the foundation wall as, as you can um, to grab that water once it comes through. So again, just following this trench around, uh, the French drain comes all the way around the foundation wall. And here's where we decided to locate the uh, sump pump pit. This is where the sump pump's gonna go. Um, it's at the low point of, of the crawl space to gravity feed. The water will be collected in the drain system and it'll feed all the way down to this pit. Uh, once we install the pit liner, um, we'll, it'll go there and we'll discharge the water right through the foundation wall, right out through a PVC pipe. It'll keep all this water uh, from collecting and standing in the crawl space and it'll discharge it to the outside of the house. So here we have um, what we use to, to fabricate our pit liners. It's a section of 12 inch corrugated pipe. So we, we cut it to size. Um, these come in 16 foot sticks. So we cut it to about two feet, usually it's between two and three feet. We cut it to length. This pit liner will go down inside the pit, just like that. And when we install it, we line the outside with gravel, which is additional filter material, and we drill holes through the outside of the pit liner. That allows the water that's coming from the drain system to, to perk inside the pit liner, and then the pump gets installed in the bottom of this liner. And uh, what we do, we fill the bottom with gravel to create more filter uh, material to keep the water nice and clean. Um, it keeps the pump, uh, the pump life uh, allows it to last longer and um, so we do that and then eventually we'll plumb the pump the pump in and uh, direct the water outside of the house this right here this is the sump pump that we use it's a Liberty pump uh, it's a well-made pump third horsepower um, and again this pump gets dropped down in the bottom and uh, it actuates once the water fills up in the bottom of the pit this is called a float switch here and as the water rises, it pushes the float switch up and actuates the pump. And once that happens, um, this pump discharges all the water that's collected in the pit and sends it right to the outside of the house. Mm -hmm.